dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Ah! I know, I know, not yet, not yet. Here, here is what we are tackling today. This! Ah! Yes, yes, I know, I know, it's bad. It's been good, but now it's bad. And uh, we need to tame and tackle this beast. All right, are you ready? Are you ready? Hang on, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost going deep with another Organizational Friday video. The lace drawer, neutral lace drawer. Here we go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my explosion. Yes, yes, this is my explosion of lace. No, no, this is not the only drawer. There's more, there's more, but we're gonna tackle this one together today. And uh, what's going through, see, I just got this. Like I needed that like a hole in the head, right? But it was so pretty, I had to have it. Um, yep, thrift store find. Love the thrift store. Sunny and I are having a lot of fun going to the thrift store. We got seven yards for a buck twenty-five. I don't think we paid that though because this was hidden on the inside, so it probably got thrown in with some other mystery price. Who knows? Um, but it's all it's all good, and it's certainly a lot less than buying at retail. And um, it's perfectly good lace. I mean, somebody had great great uh, hopes for this lace, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it out of the park and take it home literally, and uh, make something with it because I just think this is gorgeous. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll, you know what? I'm so excited about it. I think I'm just going to put it aside because I think I'm going to use it right away. How about that? That's, that's that handled. Okay, there we go. Sometimes you got to, you know, you got to go dig in your stuff and find out what you have. Okay, so the next quandary is how am I going to secure everything? Am I going to pin my laces? Am I going to tape them? Am I going to wrap them around something? But if I wrap them around something, that takes up a lot more space. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to right now. I've never tried the tape thing. I'm going to try the tape thing. Have you guys tried the tape thing? Does it work? Am I crazy to do it? Where's my tape? Um, all right, here's tape. All right, got some tape. Got some tape. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, gather some of these guys up because sometimes when they're all in a ball, I can't tell how much I have. And if I'm wanting to use some for just a, uh, let me show you. Okay. As an example, sometimes, where did my thing go? I like to use a little bit of lace just as a page trim. I always think that looks pretty, you know? Um, but, but sometimes I wanted to use it, I wanted to use it, I can speak, um, as a wrap for the entire journal. Uh, so I need more, more yardage there. So it, it is good to know how much you have of each kind of lace. So let's just do the painstaking. It's not that painstaking, I'm making it worse than it is. Um, I'm just wrapping it. I guess it's easier if you go around to something, but I don't feel like creating a bunch of somethings. There, I'm just gonna put it over there. Okay, it's not taped, but it's sort of holding together. So maybe I won't do the tape. If it holds together, I'm gonna skip the whole tape thing and uh, make it easy access. Okay, see here some lovely person put something in the middle to wrap around this, this around. Yes, yes, I can speak. And um, I'm just so excited about this. So I'm just gonna roll with it, literally. And I'm gonna put that in the Dunsey pile. We need to create Dunsey pile. Okay, over here. Oh, very proud. The desk is clean. I know, right? Well, I mean, clean is a relative term around here, but um, yeah, yeah. Okay, is that better? Well, that's too close, back. Okay, maybe a little bigger, smaller, there. Okay, there's nice. Okay, is that enough light? Here, make sure you have light. Okay, let me slide you over this way, but more light. <laughs> okay, um, what else is in here? Got some doilies. Um, probably need to get rid of these tags. Um, I don't know, 50 cents on a doily, that's pretty good, right? Usually doilies are a buck. I don't know, I guess it depends where you, where you shop. Um, I've seen them at different prices, different places. And a lot of the thrift stores will have a, a discount on the color of the tag. So my, my one little hospital store discount, uh, uh, thrift store, like every, I think it's once a month, they start off with, okay, purple tags are all 50% off. That's the deal and you're rummaging around. And then the second week, Purple tags are, I think, 75% off, maybe for two weeks, something like that. But it goes up every week. And then like the end, they're practically handing you the stuff for free, saying, please take it. We can't stand looking at it anymore. Um, that kind of stuff. But I thought these were really pretty. I know I can use those. Here's this stuff. Now, it has the very unsecure elastic band, which may or may not work. 
Um, I don't know about you, honestly. Let's, let's pull you apart and redo you. Yeah. Because uh, the biggest thing with uh, rolling things up is finding the, the darn end. You know, when you're pulling on um, a rolled something, like a, a yarn ball or something, or uh, the thread. The th gosh forbid, how much time do I spend looking for the end of a thread? Um, a, a lot of time. A lot of time. Here, does anybody? Can you relate? Uh, okay, so maybe... I lost, I don't even, oh, there's the elastic. I was going to say, I was going to come with the backup tape. All right, I'll use the elastic because it's here. I won't do it too super tight or else it'll make big wrinkles in this ribbon. So there, we'll call that done. Okay. What's this? Oh, this is pretty. I love this stuff. This fat rick rack. This is kind of cool. This is neat for page trims and anything you're like decorating a page. It doesn't have to be on the edge. It can be in the middle or near the spine or near the top or, um, you know, it's it's uh, unlimited possibilities with this stuff. So get to know and love your rick rack. And the nice thing about rick rack too is it's thin. So it's a very journal friendly. Mm -hmm. And you could even use it as a tie as well. Um, lots of fun to be had. We should do a video on different ways to close a journal. Oh my God, there's so many. Um, uh, I have fallen in love with old skeleton keys lately and uh, the, the antique ones. Oh, uh, they're just, they're just, oh, I don't know. They're just so beautiful. I love them. There's just something so, so old and vintage about them, I guess. Oh, this is really pretty. I think this is tatting. Whenever I come across something like that, oh, major drool factor, just, uh, Gotta, gotta have it, gotta have it. Now, these videos are not designed to say, oh, look at me and look at all the, the stuff I have. They're really, uh, they're a desperate crafter who buys too much stuff uh, at her local thrift stores mostly. And um, she needs to get organized because she can make a lot more things more efficiently if she gets a handle on what she has. And uh, let me just, there, can you see that magic happening back there? Okay, so here's some... What is this thread? Does anybody know? Is it crochet thread? Is it, what is it? It just, has, it just says 100% color fast, made in France, 100% cotton thread. But I love this thread. I love the color. It's this creamy um, bisque vanilla color. And I, I, I just use that stuff all the time. Oh, look, I have two. And this is just a different, like a little more coffee colored, like a cafe au lait colored. Okay, I'll put you there. I was so excited I found those. See, I forgot I had those. Um, probably just used them too. Seam binding. Um, I love this stuff. Uh, it is so nice and thin for junk journals. And if you get a white or a cream or a beige or something neutral, you can color these with um, any of your distress inks or, um, you know, watercolor or whatever you have. Just squirt something in there, food color, uh, and you're good to go. This looks like I, I did that from last time. I feel like there might be a pin in here. What's holding you together? Something is, oh, nothing. <laughs> the big fat nothing. Okay, well, we'll just we'll just go with that and we'll just complete the roll up. So just some pretty lace found one day. I, I recommend if you can find the bags of lace, you're going to get a better deal than if you buy the individual laces at your, your local thrift shop. Like you don't know how to sh throw up, sh shop at a thrift shop. Okay, this is tips on thrift shopping 101. Go for bulk. <laughs> if you buy a bag of stuff, usually it's a better deal than if you buy just one individual item. Of course, only if you're going to use the entire bag, then it's a good deal. If you only want one thing in there and you buy the whole bag, not a good deal. So that is Sunny chasing around a plastic water bottle. That's not too disruptive. No, have fun, son. Yes, it's not my ankles. So have at it. Have at it, dear boy. Oh, we had a great day today. We went to the park and I took him to a new park. Um, and they have a four mile, uh, well, actually they have a two mile paved path through the forest. And I put him in his, uh, on the bicycle in his little, uh, basket in front and I, uh, hook him in there. So he's hooked in, so he can't fall out or jump out now that his legs are growing. He's a little, he's a little taller now. And, uh, but he still, he can't get out of there, which is good. This is station. These are cool. Like sometimes you come across weird stuff like this. Like, what is this? Like samples of lace or something? I don't know, but it was so cool. I had to have it. Yeah, and I bought this a long time ago, but this was just like the random things you can find that you don't even know exist until you go to the thrift shop. That has been my big learning curve. Um, you go to the thrift shop and, and other people, you know, either they're done with projects or maybe they're not crafting anymore or maybe they died or, you know, who knows. But 
you find all this stuff that you never knew existed. And um, I certainly wouldn't want somebody to die for that. But um, I think that, uh, you know, who knew? Who knew? What, what are these things? I don't know. Maybe somebody knows. Please feel free to share. Here's this little, like, little, little uh, grapes. This is a perfect season for grapes. Fall time. Lovely, lovely. Very nice. Yeah, put you there. See, so I totally forgot I had you. Oh, here's when I was using the pins. And they're great, except sometimes the pin comes out the other edge and I get poked. So I'm not super happy about that, but this would, uh, would I think this kind of stuff would either require lace, uh, lace, elastics or pins or tape. Here's more of that thread. Now this is white. That's okay. We'll just put you with the threads because I really don't have all my threads together. My God, oh, like this whole thing. Like, like This says crochet cotton. It sure looks like that other stuff, but just a heck of a lot more of it. Yeah, I, I should never buy white thread again because apparently I have a lot. Um, what else? Okay, this does not belong here at all. This is just a uh, fabric scrap. Um, this is ribbon. Um, you know, you can pull those wires out of ribbon and then use it as a piece of material. These are great to cover spines in, and they're already finished on the side, so you don't have to do any tearing or or uh, cutting, you know, so um, a nice option if you come across these ribbons, I guess they're to make wreaths or decorate baskets, what have you not, but um, yeah, they have huge possibilities. So remember, if you come across the wide ribbons, they do have purpose in the junk journal world. Um, this stuff, raffia, um, it, it has a purpose. I'm, I haven't used it a lot. Oh, see, and I shouldn't be taking that off because that's probably going to reveal, yes, the end. Mm -hmm. But apparently I've been pulling from the middle because apparently that's what I do. And uh, so we'll close that up. All right, what else we have here? Here's some white ribbon. Paid a whopping 50 cents for that. But I'm going to get rid of these, these ends because they take up too much room. Yeah, I'm very, uh, you know, room is everything. That's a big thing in the middle. I need to get rid of that. That takes up too much room. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're going to do it. We're going to take it off. I know. I know. You're going to say it's going to get wrinkled and squashed and all that kind of stuff. And you should have left it on there, but no, no, no. I'm going to roll it up. It's got a wire. Okay. It's going to be kinky now. You're going to be sorry you did that. Oh, well. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to live on the wild side. Today's one of those days. All right, so this is going to be a smaller. Maybe I'm going to take smaller down to the finger. Roll this baby up. Oops, I let it go. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Oh, you know what you could do? I guess you could, no. Well, I was going to say you could put a paper clip on it, but I guess that would maintain its shape. It wouldn't come undone on you. It's not a bad idea. Oh, a paper clip would be a good way to store this when it's finished. Now I can let that dangle to the floor and Sunny will, Sunshine will eat it. Right, hey, sun bun. I know, he's in here now. He's looking at me. He's in his little place in the corner. And, uh, yeah, so here we are. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get this drawer all rolling. Rawhide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the song of the day, apparently. You just never know. Let me grab, oh, I have some safety pin. Paper clips. They're called paper clips, Pam. Paper clips. Get a paper clip and just paper clip it closed. Okay. Reaching through to paper clip. This is probably the easiest way to close this. All right, let's just do that. All right, that wasn't too bad, right? Yeah, we can do that. All right, put that with the ribbons. We have this little guy. I've had this forever. I love this stuff. It's, um, I guess, a champagne colored ribbon. No, um, no wires in it, but very pretty. All right, we'll just flap this around. Do I have two? I might have two. Yeah, maybe I'll put them separate because I'll, if I think it's it's one long one, I'll pull it out, undo it all, and then I'll realize, no, no, it was two. It was two, and you don't have as much as you thought. Okay, so this is telling me how much of that ribbon I have. Apparently, I have another one. Ugh, oh, yeah. Sometimes it's, it's fun to put fabrics in journals, and I know people feel differently about it. Some people feel like if you're going to work with paper, be a purist and just work with paper. But the way I look at it is it's all fiber, you know? Paper is fiber, fabric is fiber. So it's just uh, another thing we can play with. Um, there are no absolutes, and as you know, there are no rules, so you just do whatever tickles your heart, and uh, you just have some fun with whatever you're making today or whatever you're organizing today. There, yeah, yeah, that was easy. Okay, got that down. All right, what's next, what's next? Okay, how about this guy? 
Yeah, you look like you want it to come undone. No, we don't want you to come undone. We'll just roll you up from whence you came. Are you the same as that other guy? You might be. I like to keep like with like, similar things together. That way, if you're looking for the super thin, um, I guess this is some for form of seam binding or something. I don't know what this is officially called. Pretty lacy trim thing, hem, hem thing. We'll put you with the other one. We've got this little guy. Oh, and he doesn't have a pin. No, you're all you're all big boy pants with on your own and not not uh, requiring a pin. Oh, look, oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 so we got more of this and more of that. Now, do I do all separate ones? Well, that's going to be something, isn't it? Well, yeah, let's just do separate ones so we can actually see how much we have. Maybe, maybe that's my thing. I'm going to, I'm going to take stock. Yeah, does it sound like it's not really going to happen? Yeah, I agree. But I'm going to take stock of exactly what I have and how much of what I have. That's kind of con Mari, right? Yeah, you're supposed to throw everything that's similar in the middle of the floor. Oh my God, could you imagine? And um, I put all like all your fat white rickrack together because see, I didn't know I had three pieces in here. No, nope, that was news to me. Uh, but now if I wrap them separately and store them separately, I won't know exactly how big it is until I open it, but I really should get some small safety pin or paper clips. They're paper clips. Why can't you call them paper clips? They've been paper clips since you were born. You've always referred to them as paper clips, and now you have this issue calling them safety pins. What is up, Missy? All right, here we go. And we're together. Okay, well, hopefully that's not too fuss fuss. You know what I mean? You don't want the uh, uh, ability to get it to undo and do up again worse than you know, just rolling it all in one thing. So I hope, I hope this, okay, I should actually, okay, we're going to test this. All right, so here I am. I'm just putting them away because I'm so organized. Look at me. And then, okay, another day comes out. All right, what is this? Now I need some of this. Can I get it out? Okay, so you got to, you got to watch, let me show you. You got to watch like that little end there. You can't get stuck in the lace or, or it's game over. You got to make sure it's above. Oh, now the back one got stuck. See, that could be, um, that could be a problem. Um, well, we'll go with it. It wasn't horrible. All right. Gosh, I'm just going to try it and see what happens in life. I'll, I'll get back with you on that. <laughs> I'll let you know if it's a disaster or not. It might be with this lacy stuff. Gonna need a whole box of uh, paper clips. All right, we'll put you guys there with lace. All right. And I could separate the whites from the like soft vanilla creams. And that might be a good idea because then I can kind of see the shading. So separating by color, I think is uh, very helpful in the craft room. So if you have a lot of laces and you want to put all your neutrals together, maybe put your whites and your off whites together. And, um, okay, let's put you with your other one. You had a little friend. Here's some elastic. See, now I would never think this was in here, but I must've put it in here because it was white or off white. And uh, I have another one, which is like a beige cafe au lait color, like I would ever need the two subtle shades, but apparently I got them in a thrift box bag or, uh, you know, bulk purchase. And uh, I don't know what I've used this for yet officially. Maybe I could do some things with beads. Um, I'll have to test the integrity. This stuff is old because elastic, as we know, can give way. But uh, yeah, we got to play with this more. That, that, um, you know, I think I'm just going to keep it out to remember to play with it. Yeah, because we can make things with that. I got to remember I have things or else I'll never, I'll never play with them. Apparently we have more grapes, you know. Here's the grapes. Look at that. I didn't know I had more. So apparently we have more grapes. All right, we'll put those very nicely with the other grapes. But in a separate grape pile because we don't want them inter-grape. Because that, then we won't know how much grape we have. How are you going to close that? I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to layer, the, see I didn't do a good job on that. I'll do the backward forward maneuver and I'll, I'll just pile these on top of each other and hope to God I know that there are two separate ones in there. Yeah, that'll never happen. Um, okay, that's all right. We're, we're doing our best. You know, we got to make decisions. That's the thing. Just got to make decisions at some point. You get stuck thinking about stuff so long, you'll, you'll never get back to junk journal making. And that's the end goal. Okay, so this is a pretty little lace. And uh, I almost don't feel like you really need a, a paper clip. No, you don't. 
Here, this white lace is nice. Okay, let's pull you out. Whoops, sorry, sorry, my bad. Um, well, well, let me, let me back you up just a little bit. Okay, there, better. Um, all right. Are we in the biscuit here? Are we in the biscuit? What on earth does she mean by that? Nobody's ever heard that before. I know, I know. <clears throat> so it is a beautiful day outside and I'm slowly getting my craft room organized. Are you slowly getting yours organized? I hope so. Maybe the one drawer at a time slow as molasses method might work better for some folks. And right now it works better for me because um, I am super excited about making journals and bundles and digi kits and, and working on my newsletter and doing my videos that I want to um, make progress in keeping my craft room organized and clean, but not have it take over my life where I have to say, okay, I'm going to spend the next week reorganizing my craft room. So instead, I'm trying this slow way. We'll see if this ever gets completed. I don't think that needs a, a thingy. Okay, can you see over there? A, okay, there we go. All right. Okay. And... Um, Okay, so one thing I could take out of here quickly, these are my waxed linen threads to uh, do my signatures with. It took me a long time to advance up to these, but I really do like them. And they come in different colors. And I decided just to get some basic neutrally sort of colors. And there's a, apparently I haven't used this one at all yet. Like I did, it was the first time I bought them and I figured they would last a long time. But they have a nice uh, grab when you tie them together. They don't slip. Um, and they keep your knots knotted well when you want to keep your signatures in. And I had a few fails with some old um, embroidery floss. And, and some embroidery floss is absolutely fine, but definitely check the integrity of the embroidery floss. Give it a good tug because sometimes it breaks down and uh, the old stuff may give way and you don't want to lose your signatures and stuff like that. Oh, look, tiny pieces. 100% silk. Ooh, ooh for stringing pearls and beads. Maybe one day, if I'm all fancy pants. Okay, here's another one of these. So put those together. And what else? What a little black thing? Doesn't belong in here. No, 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 no. Off you go. All right, put you, we have a black and brown drawer for um, like dark neutrals, which is uh, very pretty. And um, see, this is kind of a dark neutral. So we'll put you with a dark neutrals. Okay. Ah, I got a paper clip. Yes, I do. <laughs> there we go. Off you go there. Sometimes things cross pollinate. You know, here's a gold that ended up in here. And he I have a gold silver drawer. And um, right now they're kind of hard to access because I had to block off a lot of the bottom drawers because you know who, little Mr. Stinky Pants, likes to pull the drawers open <laughs> and ferret in there and I'm afraid he's going to swallow something that might hurt him so I have these barricades all along my lower drawers but as he's getting bigger he's not chewing on the teeny tiny stuff as much he's going for bigger game yeah bigger game and uh, so right now he's doing apples and carrots I give him an apple like a piece of an apple in the morning and that when he goes into his real teething mode you know and uh, I figured that's probably good at clean his teeth too and um there we go. We'll put you over there because we're going to go in another place. Oh, here's more of this stuff. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty piece of twine. I like this ropey twine stuff, you know, this old like uh, sisal, I think it's called. Um, but that is uh, really pretty in junk journals. I mean, you can even put a thin bead of Fabrifix down and it will just stick to that. There's Holly, my African gray, singing away. He's happy pants over there. He's able, he's right in front of a window, kind of half in front of a window, half protected. So he can see out into the courtyard where he sees birds come by all the time. I have a big old pine tree out there, a Norfolk pine. It was actually our um, Christmas pine uh, that we had in a pot. And then I stuck it in the yard and the thing grew like crazy. It's taller than the house now. And we have a two-story house. So there you go. Um, yeah, so he enjoys watching the Cardinals and the Blue Jays and the, and the, you know, the Wrens and the Finches. And, you know, we have a lot of birds like that that come and, um, uh, gosh, once I found a beheaded kestrel in my courtyard. I, I must have gotten into a fight with a, an eagle or an osprey or something and something bit its head off. It was like, whew, you know, I thought, oh, first time I find a 
I, I have seen kestrels around, but um, first time I see one in the yard and there it is, no head. Yeah, maybe a cat got it. Okay, that's possible. Um, I don't know if anybody has cats right close to us, but, or something could have got it. Let's face it, it could be anything. We have gators here, but mm, I don't think it would just take the head. It would have eaten the whole thing if it was a gator. You know, they don't come up that close to the house. Thank goodness. At least not that I know of. Oh, Dental Floss makes a nice waxed linen thread option. If you don't have um, a book binding waxed linen thread, grab some Dental Floss. It's very strong. It's very easy to work with. And it practically disappears in your signatures when you use it. So I'll, that's what I started with. I actually started with Dental Floss. Works great. Super option. Very inexpensive. You can get it at the dollar store. Probably don't want the mint scented kind. Or you might. <laughs> But uh, I, I usually go for like a non-scented kind. Um, although I like, I like nice scents in my journals. Like I like the coffee scent. I know not everybody does, but I, I do. I like the coffee scent. And uh, oh, more of this thread. Look at that. See, I got to put all these threads in one area. This problem. I, they, they just show up in these thrift shop bags periodically. And then I toss them in here randomly thinking I'm doing a great job by at least putting them in the right uh, colored drawer. But... And then I forget I have 75,000 of these and uh, I never actually buy the bag for this nice cotton thread, but I always am happy when I get it. I need to remember I have it so that I use it more. I think I'm going to keep this in here because that's going to go all crazy town if I undo that. Okay, there's some little laces. See, I forget I have these because they're such little baby laces. This is weird stuff. I don't think I'm going to keep this. I had this. I don't know what it is. It's some kind of folded thingy. Yeah, I've been looking at that long enough. It's, go it's gone. Um, all right, here's more of that. What else? Oh, here's some silver, silvery. That's kind of neutral. I should probably put that with the gold, silver and gold bucket. And here's a little, uh, you know, ooh, little skirt. Yep, little hula skirt um, or 60s uh, shaker stuff. Um, we'll put you in there. We'll do something fun with you. That'd be cute to make like a little... Like if that was at the top of a page and then they had to like open up to see a, a word or a poem or a quote or something. Yeah, let's do something with that. Okay, here we go. Thread. Thread, that's silver. So we should put the silver thread with the silver. Okay, that's probably because I would never go look for silver thread in the white neutral drawer. That's gold. So you should go there. Gold. Brown. Kind of neutral. Okay, we'll do the like light cafe au lait, but anything coppery or gold will go in the copper gold drawer. Do we have some of this already? I used to have a bunch of that. Maybe I used it all up. I like that stuff. Um, oh yeah. Now here's something. I got to take this out. Hi, Holly. Got to take this out of, yep. No, I, I hear you. Well, I, I can leave that because now it's accessible. Yeah, but the, uh, this is cute. Uh, ephemera actually, because these are from another time. That's kind of cool. They're meant to be disposable papers. And I think they're kind of cute. Um, get the ticket off. Well, maybe I'll stick something on it. That might be the best way to handle that. But we'll put that away. This would be silver. This is more lace. Let's put that over here. See, I totally forgot I had these little hula skirt things. I need to remember that. It's hula skirt time. It's hula skirt time, more seam binding. I actually have a separate drawer for seam binding, so I may move all that seam binding into the seam binding drawer, which is multicolored. Here's, here's, I think I got this at the Dollar Tree. Oh, this is mint wax. Yeah, well, those were the days when I didn't have options. So uh, yes, apparently I have used the mint. Okay, so what is this? This is just some kind of cording, some kind of cording that's been around the, you know, get, been around the world a bit. Let me just, let me corral it. Let me corral it. Okay, corralling. I'm going to get my fingers stuck in here forever. I know it. I'm not going to get them out. Better pull them on out now, Missy. You're going to be in there forever. No, you better keep it in because it's all coming apart. Okay, all right, back in. Well, I can't get them back in now. Okay, it's all right. All right. Ah, okay, this may be a two-parter. I'm just warning you. Um, it looks like it because I'm just getting everything out here and I'm not going to have it all back in. But if you like hanging out, watching me organize me drawers, this is the happy place. <laughs> and uh, I feel like I'm making, okay, now I'm done down to one finger. <laughs> what does this mean? Who knows? All right, just not too tight, Pamela. You never get it off of that finger. 
<laughs> okay, there we go. Now, how are you going to get that together? Hmm. Now, a, a, a safety pin would come in handy here. Hmm. Let me see if I have one. I think I have some. Okay, do I, I need a big one. Hello, big safety. Oh, there's one. All right. Okay, I got this big one. All right, going in. I don't know, is this the answer to all my woes? Will this do it? Will this keep me organized? We shall see. All right, I'll get back at you with details on how that went. All right, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, elastic cording. See, I need to know I have this stuff because I forget I have it. And sometimes you want elastic cording to um, close a journal, you know, and you can even put beads on it. Wouldn't that be cute? But you got to know you have it. You're never going to use it if you don't know you have it, right? And if you can't see it, you don't have it. It's as good as that because you forget about it because you're so excited about the latest stuff you got. Yeah, because our attention span is, or at least mine is, about good for 30 seconds and then I'm off to the next thing. And uh, let me see if I can find another safety pin. Oops, dropped something. I have to retrieve it because you know who will eat it. Okay, I got it, I got it. What was it? It was Brad's. Okay. There's a safety pin. Okay, it's not a big one. But you know, you're gonna have to take what you get, Missy, because these are the times when you gotta be resourceful. Yeah. Remember, you're a crafter, don't stick yourself. You're a crafter and you can make things from nothing. That's right. Like a safety pin can become a little holder of elastic cording. Who knew? You don't need to go buy all that fancy organizational stuff. No, no, no. Use what you got, use what you got. And okay, I love this stuff. Yeah, there's some of that sizzle, we'll put that aside. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, see, I've totally forgot I had that. Those little bitty bits. Like sometimes if you find out you have a lot of little bitty bits, use them up first, you know, get, clear your deck of the little bitty bits. And um, that, cause they'll get buried. They get buried so fast, so quickly. I was doing the wrapping thing. That was actually me. I, that was me responsible for that. Um, what color is that? I guess we could slide that there. This is so pretty. I love this. It's a creamy lace. Oh, love that. All right. This probably should go with yellow, I would say. And I'm going to put that in the yellow bucket. I have a yellow, a yellow red bucket. I don't think I need that. Um, okay. That's kind of a beigey neutral. Put you there. Okay. I think we'll do a little lace collection. Okay. Up there. Oh, no, we have a lace collection like that other, this thing. Yeah. We'll put you with you. And, uh, oh, look at you. Aren't you all flouncy? Aren't you all flouncy and, and vanilla? Yeah, okay. Maybe we'll make a little pile of lace. Because I have, seem to have a lot of, like, little remnant pieces here. Well, you're a bigger piece, of course, as I say that. Look at that. More elastic, elastic stretch right car, uh, cording. Okay, there you go. Little tiny thin thread. What on earth? We, oh, this is probably for tatting or something. I think you need to have, like, microscopic vision bionic eyes to tat. I've never tatted. I've uh, admired tatting from afar and I've, I like whenever I find a piece I'm like oh yeah because it just seems like seam seam binding. Um, it just seems like uh, oh, that fancy needles. Oh beetle on. Okay put you with the threads. Um, it's like such tiny little work you know like like is this tatting or is this crochet? Does anybody know? What is that? What is that? But it's a lovely little piece of lace and I just love those lovely little pieces of lace. And here is some pretty crocheted lace. Now I know this is crocheted lace because that's what it said on the container, on the packaging. So I'm feeling very comfortable calling this crocheted lace. My grand wisdom, being able to read the back. Oh, I'm probably in the second video. Did I switch over? Sometimes I don't know. I can't tell by looking at my phone. It'll, it'll give me like a sign like you are now switching over. Your maximum video footage has been achieved. And uh, then it all just starts continually counting like the clock says 34 minutes. But I have been fooled. Sometimes it'll actually let me record up to 45 minutes a couple times. I have no idea why and how it makes its decisions. Is there like a little committee on the, the inside? Are we going to let her go past? I don't know. She hasn't been very, you know... She hasn't really kept her desk clean lately. I don't, I don't think she should be rewarded. Um, so it could be something like that. Or it could be, uh, um, did you ever see that movie with um, Woody Allen? And there was like, I, I think it was like something in the brain was deciding 
what went where and what got delivered and in the body. I don't know. It was just kind of a funny movie a long time ago. <laughs> oh, knocked my glue over. Okay, I have little bits. Little bits of this lace, which are so handy in junk journal land. And, uh, okay, longer bits will roll, but little bits. I think uh, I'm just going to make up some scrappy clusters, you know, just to have them and uh, get them out of my drawer. I'm getting them out of my drawer because I, I want just the longer stuff in here so I know how much I have. Yeah, yeah, that's my theory. Okay, so let's, this is another longer one. So we'll give this, we'll give this a roundy-roo, a roundy-roo. Okay, good. We'll put you like with like over there. Okay, more of this. Okay, yeah, more of this. Um, okay, I think I paper clipped this together. Yes, I did. Okay, I can do that. Gosh, I hope that works. And I hope these don't rust. That would, that would be sad, wouldn't it? Uh, well, I just better use them up. That's how you handle that, right? You just get in there and you use them up. Okay, these little pieces. All right, we're, we're starting to see some bottom of the drawer. That's a good sign. This little crochet lengthy things together. I'll see if I have a foot, I'll roll it. You know, I'll roll it. Because then I'll, I'll know it's about a foot. Okay, that's a good thing to say to self. Self, you know it's at least a foot because otherwise you would have put it in the, so you can't see that, the little tiny piece pile, which are going to make some fabric clusters so that uh, you use all those up. Maybe we'll make those on a video. That might be fun. Okay, so here's some elastic. Elastic. I think I'm just going to tie it with itself. Oh, no, that's a disaster. Okay, what are we going to do? It's about a foot. We're going to use a paper clip on this one. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Okay, here we go. And paper clip save. One paper clip. Okay, is that good? Not bad. Not great. Who are we kidding? All right, let's get it together. Here, we get the whole thing in there. Okay, better. Not great, but not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Um, okay, you can probably come off of there because you don't even deserve all that. Oh, what's the matter, sunshine? You want to play? Yeah, he went on a four-mile bike ride this morning. I was so proud of him. It was a new park, and there were so many people out there, and everybody had a dog, and so it was very exciting to me, little guy. All right. Uh, uh, okay, I think you're going to stay together. No, I better paper clip you. Okay, you're at least a foot. At least a foot. Okay, put you with the rick rack. Rick rack. Rick rack. Rick rack. Rick rack. There it is. Okay. Yeah, like with like. Rick rack with rick rack. And uh, that should keep everybody organized for at least a year, right? Right? Yeah, I pretty much have to do like a thorough, deep organization like this at least once a year. Or, you know, it's just, there's no, there's no reason to keep bringing stuff home because you might have yards of it already but you don't know because you can't see it so this is dealing with that this is one way and this is the slowest way known to mankind um but it's okay for right now okay that's pretty i like that a lot okay we'll put that in the should here or here okay we'll put you here you see you don't even know what the other option is here's the other option the lace pile okay that'll go with those what is this Oh, this is some kind of, it says wooden miniatures, craft specialties. I don't know. It's some kind of hard w nylon wire, like not wire, but it's a plastic thread. Anybody know what that is for? It says uh, wooden miniatures. Is that focused? Let's see. I need my eyes. Um, but uh, I used this a lot in the beginning. Yep. That was right up there with the, the tooth floss. Yep, dental floss. Okay, there's a nice little piece of lace. We'll just put you with you. And here's one of these little doodads I have somewhere else for you. You can go there. You can go there. You're one of those. So you go over there. Now here was my grand thing. I was going to learn how to ruffle. Like you know how you do one running stitch and then somehow magically you, you pull on one of these ends. Yep, in theory. And then the whole thing ruffles. Well, that just became way too much trouble, so that never happened. So we're going to put you in the must-be-used-up pile. We'll put you there. Yeah. All right, here's more of the sisal. Not much, but we'll just put you there. Gold. You need to go over there with golds. 
And your little oddball, we don't know what you are. Um, little fuzzballs coming off. Yes, the thing of working with fabric is you do create lint, you do create fuzz, you do create dust. So uh, one thing I, I always have in my craft room is a um, HEPA a purifier air filter because um, I just want to be able to breathe the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there, I just did that. Okay, that's very easy. Yeah, okay. And um, that's cute, little piece. I'm going to put you there. Definitely have purpose. Um, actually, I'm going to use all you up in my current journal. You away. Okay, this can all go. These little tiny screws. I never know what to do with those. They come with those little metal plates, but I never use the screws because I'm not going into wood. Um, okay, so here's a clump of lace. Here's one of the little metal screws. Um, here's this little shorty pieces of lace, and now I'm going to dump this. Okay, now I'm going to pull out the baby wipe, and I'm going to clean this. Maybe two. This is a two for a special. Yeah, and I think maybe a little extra water can't hurt. A lot of dust in here. Okay, there we go. Clean the sides. Yeah, get all the dust out. Start all brand spanking new clean. Yeah, nothing. No, it feels so good, you know, when it's all clean. Yeah, it's nice. There we go. Yep. Make sure I got it all. Check the recesses. Check the corners. Get in there. Go deep. Don't be shy. All right. Okay, there we go. I think we're pretty good. Yeah, we got almost all of it. Yeah. Always chasing a piece of glitter or something, you know? Okay, there we go. I got it. All right, so we are whistle clean. Yep. Now, how are we going to load this? All right. Well, I use these a lot, so I'm going to put those at the front of the drawer. And I'm going to try not to pile anything upon itself. Okay, so we have those. And maybe I should keep strings with strings. I'm going to put you here. And then we're going to put maybe okay, got a bunch of these. Okay, let's organize them. All right, maybe put the white one in front. Whoops, whoops, whoop, come back here. Um, then this one. And, oh, no, no, you got to go here and then here. So that's organized by color. Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? Yeah, that feels good. All right, now what about those little, little thread things? Yeah, like this little pieces of, these are really, uh, Embroidery floss, you know that? Maybe I should put those in the embroidery floss because I have a thing for embroidery floss. I think I should do that. I think I should put like with like. Okay, you are going to embroidery floss. You're going to go to seam binding. Oh, I really want to... Do I have... Yeah, I do. But I, I don't know, man. I really love having this here. Well, if I really love having it here, I'm just going to have it here. Okay, there, that's settled. Um... Okay, so next, what do you have? Okay, um, how about these pretty little laces that are all tacked together? They could come next, yes. Then I could see what I have. Little baby laces. I need to put them like this. You're gonna be all individual so I can see who you are and how much I have. Okay, all right. Okay, now what, what else looks like lace? Little like nylon lace stuff. We'll do the cotton lace ladder. This is more like nylon lace, nylon lace. All right, that's a cream. We've branched into the creams. You're kind of, you can go there. There we go. All right, maybe you gotta go here, are you? What, maybe, no, wait. Wait, retreat. Retreat. Oh, no, we'll put you there, okay. So maybe now we'll do these laces. Oh, I'm going to stand you up. Okay. I thought about that before. Okay, standing you up. Okay. Oh, we've got a few more threads. A few more threads. Hmm, I'm going to put you down there. <laughs> oh, sorry. Can't see the whole bowl. Um, here, let me move this. Let me put you here. Okay. All right. Now. Ah, okay. Here we have. Oh, no, there's more lace. This is more lace-like stuff, so put you there. You're lace, you're technically lace, so we will put you there. Maybe put you against the edge. Put you there, put you there. And, okay, oh, we got another one of these guys. See that? Much easier to see. I have three now, I have three. There's this lace along with this lace. Okay, you can go there. 
It's like ribbon lace. Okay, maybe I'll just put you like that because you're the same color. It's actually the same lace. Um, um, okay, here's some more lace. Yeah, see, I'm going to find these little things. I need to know I have them. Yeah, and you get in there. All right. Ribbony stuff. Okay. What's that? Raffia back there. And I think the door will close. And now let's go for crochet. Crochet. Crocheted lace. Some crocheted lace. A little tatting. Okay, here's a bunch of crocheted lace. We'll just put you all here. See, boy, this is really super organized. I don't think I've ever been this organized. I think it's because you guys are watching. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, okay, there, that's organized. Um, oh, got some more of this frilly stuff. We'll tuck you in there. Okay. Uh, oh, more lace. More lace. Here's more of this stuff. Let's see, that's a lace. So we'll put you here. And here's some white crocheted. This is floss, so we'll put that with the floss. Um, here's this brown mystery ribbon. Here's white elastic. Or no, this is just cording. Oh, maybe I should have a separate cording area. Hmm, let me try that. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Okay, but I can put my rick rack in here. That will work. Yes, here's wide rick rack. And here's some, two more pieces of wide rick rack. Okay. This is elastic, so we'll put that with the elastic cording, cording mystery drawer. More rickrack, a little more rickrack. Okay. Oh, here's some of these uh, white ribbons that were already pre, pre uh, folded. Thank you uh, from, from to myself from another time. It's another little mystery piece. Okay, we have this. This is the ribbon, the basket ribbon, whatever. Okay, we're doing good. Grapes. I'm gonna get the grapes in here. Mm. Well, I can make more room by going like that. And that will move everybody up here. I can tuck you back there. Okay, probably never use the grapes. Um, okay, my little hula skirts. My little hula skirts. I think I can, I can put you back here. Yeah. And here's my little pom-pom trim. See, I forgot I had that. I like that. It's very nostalgic. Uh, I'll tuck you there so I can see you. And, oh, this is a little bits of lace. So I think I'm gonna put the bits of lace elsewhere. You're gonna go elsewhere, as well as the doilies. The doilies and the bits of lace, I think will live together in a drawer. And these teeny tiny ones, I'm just gonna put right over by my sewing machine. So I remember to use them. That's how I'm gonna use them up. Yep, that's the plan. Here's a little piece of uh, uh, coffee dyed seam binding. Oh, I'll put you in here. Okay, there you go. The sisal. Oh, I do like the sisal. I do like the sisal. Hmm, I know I'll use this. If I see it, I'll know. Okay. All right, I think there's two pieces in here. There's a fatty piece and a thinny piece. Um, well, let me do the, the thin fatty piece. There you go. Okay, where am I gonna tuck you? I'm gonna tuck you right here. Okay, and then the little thin guy you're going into. You're going in, yep, you're going in. I uh, don't want to hear any squawking. <laughs> All right, going in. Unsecured, but present, yes. All right, so all these other things. Oh, I have this, this has to go in here. Okay, so what are you gonna do about this, Missy? Okay, well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna make it thinner, because it's too fat. If it's thinner, I can get it in there. Where's the other one? I think there was one. Okay, they're kind of like these. Let me put you here. Yeah, you're low enough. Yep. Okay, and that. Okay, this. What are we gonna do with this? Oh, here's a tiny little piece of lace. Look at that. All right, we're just gonna we're gonna put you right there. Okay. You're cute, but I think you'll go with the laces. Yeah. All right. I think we made it. We made it through. No, no, we didn't. Sorry, sorry. There's this. There's all this. What about that, Pam? Oh, right. Okay. Yep. No, we're handling that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, so um, I am just carrying on here. This is the day. Life is good. Yeah, I already had my lunch. 
what I have? I had um, I had a salad. Okay, that sounds really good, right? Yeah, I had a salad. I always start off strong, you know? Okay, I'll have the salad. If I get the salad down the pie hole, then odds are I can't fit anything else down there. That's my theory. But somehow, somehow, I always manage to get more down there. So what happened after the salad? Um, okay, there was this really cool kind of bread cracker thing that got covered in um, salmon, like the smoked lox kind of salmon. Yeah, I had that as a chaser. And then that was followed up by, actually I haven't eaten this yet, but this is where I'm headed right after this. I bought a couple yogurts and I found maple yogurt. Now that's kind of cool, like a neat flavor. I found it in Aldi and uh, I thought I would give it a try. Can somebody come and roll this for me? Um, okay, here's one of those lacy loos. Yeah, we got to keep that. Okay. Um, so this is like going deep and, and it's like, okay, now I've been rolling for a while. This is like two videos now and uh, it might be three. Um, <laughs> uh, but I want to get her done and I want to feel good about getting a drawer clean. So I feel like I, I am making progress because I am, right? I am making progress and I hope you are too. I hope you're having fun and, and doing this with me because, uh, okay, that's going to come apart. Um, maybe get a little drawer done or a little uh, box or maybe your craft desk. Or it doesn't matter what it is. Just just try and get something done because uh, you'll feel a lot better. This is just coming apart and, and not being friendly. And if you don't want to play, we're we're just gonna we're gonna tackle you. Yeah. All right. It's gonna be paper clip for you, buddy. Yeah. We're not gonna we're gonna deal with the likes of you and your nonsense. There. See, I wrestled him. Now he's not gonna he's not gonna give me any trouble. Okay. Well, no, you gotta sit right by the other seam binding so I know who you are. And where you belong okay this is pretty isn't this pretty lace yeah i bought a bunch of pretty lace um on aliexpress oh gosh a year ago it just was a crazy crazy night itchy tricky trigger finger there i was buying every lace known to mankind of course it took 100 years to get here but um when i came it was just oh it was so pretty and it was very um reasonably priced uh, but you do have to wait a long time if you order from aliexpress the stuff does come from china so um it is on a slow boat, <laughs> literally. And, uh, but it, you can get some good deals. And there we go, a little lace. A little lace will do ya. Um, here's some wider lace. Okay, uh, not a large piece, but this, I have been using a lot of this lately. What was I doing with that? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I made a bunch of journals with this recently. So um, that I really like. And let me put that here so I can see I have it. And then there's this long thing. I think there might be two long things in here. Yeah, it might be two different things. See, now here's one of these deals where the two, see this one? And then see this one? They're different, but when they all got bundled together, they look similar. So yes, it's a fool of the eye, a trick of the eye, la trompe Um, To trick the eye. Ah, oh, look, there's a knot here. Well, that's not going to happen. That's not going to work. We need not to do that. <laughs> oh, Lord. One of those days. One of those days in the craft room. Yep. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. Have an end. Sometimes you just start with an end. It'll take you to a worse place. Okay. Here's another knot. Ooh. You know, the worst case scenario is you can always cut it. And then you'll just, you know, have shorter pieces, but, oh, found an end of the fat one. Maybe I can get the fat one out. Come on, little chubber. Come with me. Yep. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Yes. Nope, not done. Yes. Okay, now we'll do some serious rolling. We'll do a three finger. Sometimes when you start with a three finger, because of the tension, it ends up being a two finger or a one finger because... It just gets tighter on your fingers as you're rolling it. You know, you yarn rollers out there, you know, when you're rolling and, well, you probably have your technique down and I'm just a babe in the woods here, wandering in, not knowing what I'm doing, not knowing the forest from the trees, but I'm having fun along the way. I hope you are too. It's all about the fun. And uh, sometimes the organization can be a lot of fun. It just feels, I don't know, does it, do you have that experience that it feels good and soothing on the brain to organize? You almost feel like, you organize your own thoughts or your own um, neurons when you organize your stuff, like your sock drawer, or your underwear drawer, or, you know, pajama drawer. Um, 
So I, I think there's like something, the physical representation of organizing also helps us feel calmer and um, more at peace, more organized. Do you guys feel that way? I feel that way. Um, of course, sometimes I just feel frank overwhelmed when I look at, you know, the amount of things that I do need to organize. So um, I do try and keep the rest of my house very lean and mean, almost like a, um, what do I want to call the, uh, oh, what's that? Um, clothing system where you barely have anything, like, you know, uh, not concise. I can't think of the word right now. Um, but anyway, basically means you just have a few key items and you can make a thousand uh, um, outfits out of a few key items. So you don't have to buy a bunch of expensive stuff. You would just buy a few good pieces. I can't think of the word. Um, not concept, not, um, not concise. Anyway, that's what it means. You, I'm sure you've probably seen it out there on YouTube and, you know, the social medias of the world. I think I'm going to use this to tie upon itself and it's almost a yarn ball. Oh, look at that. See, we have like fuzz that's causing the problems. Yeah. All right. So this will become its own tie. Yes. So we don't need extraneous ties, pins, tape, elastics, none of, none of that. We just hope that none of this moves in here ever. Um, do you think that might happen? <laughs> I have a little more room here. I think I can get this last one in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So a lot more ideas coming your way. Got more videos coming out. Um, oh, here's a tiny. Here's a tiny. Did I flick that out? I don't know. Um, you can roll your tail in there. Um, so I'll give you my little spiel. If you're looking for vintage digital downloadable uh, printable kits, I've got a bunch in my Etsy shop. Please feel free to take a peruse. I try and add new ones monthly. Um, and what else can I tell you? I can tell you that sometimes I pop journals in there without any notice. Uh, big, fat, chunky monkeys, um, all sorts of different kinds. And maybe uh, gift bundles, maybe other unusual things. And um, not a lot of fanfare, but they just go up for sale and I just sort of see what happens. It's actually a easier way for me to sell things um, because I, I find sometimes when I list things when I do a video and that, and I know it's frustrating for people when um, they go and they watch the video and then they go and look and it's already gone. And um, it takes, somebody already bought it even before they could watch the whole video or, or something like that. And uh, it's a little saddening, I know, and I don't want anybody to be disappointed. So sometimes I think it's, it's you know, kind of, you know, fun to just pop it in the store and whoever happens to wander by, um, they have a choice of whether they want to purchase it. And uh, that way it takes the heat off. And, um, uh, you know, it's, it's everybody kind of has a fair crack. And I, I try and push, put them in at different times. Like they won't always go in on Fridays or Saturdays or Sundays or, or in the middle of the week or early morning or late morning. I try and rotate it around. So uh, the clock. So, you know, folks on the West Coast, I only ship in the USA. But um, so, so folks on the West Coast have a fair shot at it. Um, and uh, folks on the East Coast, you know, maybe sometime there'll be a 9 a.m. one or a 7 a.m. one or, um, but sometimes there'll be a 12 noon or a 4, 4 p.m. or an 8 p.m. or midnight because I happen to be up doing stuff, you know, like, so you just never know. Yeah, that's, that's the long and the short of that. And um, um, I would like to put some different things in my Etsy shop too, and I haven't quite gotten around. Oops, sorry, sorry. That was that was me. Told me. My bad. Okay, there we go. Let's get you organized. Um, so we have some semblance of organization here. It's not perfect. It's not all squared off or anything like that, but at least I can see what I have. And that makes me breathe a big sigh of relief because I'm making the yarn ball now. I've, I've, I've switched over to yarn ball mode. Let's put you in there. Okay. Okay. And um, one last piece of lace, but you're going to go with the lace pile. Yeah, you're not going in here. No, I don't want to hear it. Stop squibbling. Okay. There, now we are officially done. Yay. Okay. 
So um, if you haven't signed up for my newsletter yet, please sign up for that. It's a free monthly emailed newsletter where you get a free digital image, a checklist of supplies um, for collecting things for making junk journals, and a note from the bookmaker, a nice note that you can tuck into the front of your journal that explains what a junk journal is and how it can be used. My videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. My podcasts, which are free and they're audio only, they come out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, if you have Apple or Spotify or any of the other platforms listed on the service or just click the link below it's free you can just listen to it you don't need any fancy services um, playlists are li linked uh, below the video and also at the ends of the video and you can find them on my channel I have a whole bunch uh, basically categories of videos if you're lo looking for using up the book pages or um, ways to design a page or um, junk journal construction covers spines signatures things like that um, uh, you can find me on social media on it's still so Yep, yep. Social media at Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there. Uh, creating junk journals and junk journal related things, embellishments and fun things. And uh, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. I hope you had fun here. Please um, like, subscribe, and share if you found value and click the notification bell. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Oh, let me, let me put this in my, in my, uh, hang on. I'll show you the finished thing as it's in the drawer. And there she blows. She's all needy weedy, all organized. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me. It was a labor of love, and I love hanging out with you guys, and I hope you got some organizing done, too. Take care. Till next time. Bye-bye.